Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be going through an analysis of the GTX 1060 leaked fire strike scores and compare them to the RX 480. I wanted to find out just how much fire strike scores matter. Just as a disclaimer, the date that this is being recorded is July 8th, so if there are any other leaks or info coming out after this date, it will not be in the video. Alright, let's get started. Alright everybody, so today we've got the GTX 1060 versus the RX 480. Both cards are aimed at the 200 to 300 price range, with the RX 480 4 gig and 8 gig model coming in at 200 and 240 respectively. Then the GTX 1060 coming in at 250 for the 6 gigabyte version, and the Founders Edition at $300. So let's talk about Fire Strike. The GTX 1060's leaked Fire Strike benchmarks show a graphics score of 13,215 on normal Fire Strike. For comparison, I have found a chart listing the GTX 970 and 980 Fire Strike scores from PCPerspective.com. The GTX 970 gets a graphics score of 11,056, and the GTX 980 performs just lower than the GTX 1060 with the GPU score of 13,050. Based on these scores alone, the RX 480 score is lower than both the GTX 980 and 1060 by around 920 points plus or minus 100. I can't find any real numbers for a reference R9 390X and 3D Mark, but most of the OC versions I'm looking at are between 12,800 and 13,100 points, so I'll just say 12,900. This is lower than the GTX 980's 13,050 and lower than the GTX 1060 score of 13,215. If the leak is true, then what will come from the GTX 1060 Fire Strike score? What we know so far is that the RX 480 has a lower score than the 390X by around 900 points. It's lower than the 980 by 855 points, and the RX 480 score is higher than the GTX 970 by 1139 points. Let's compare game performance together from these numbers. Rise of the Tomb Raider, we see the GTX 970 and RX 480 with the exact same FPS, while the R9 390X is 3 FPS ahead of that, and the 980 is another 8 FPS ahead of the 390X. In Hitman, we see the RX 480 ahead of the 980 by 13 FPS and ahead of the GTX 970 by 22 FPS. The 390X is ahead of the RX 480 by 7 FPS. In GTA 5, we see the 390X ahead of the RX 480 by 1 FPS and the GTX 980 ahead of the 390X by another 3 FPS. The GTX 970 is behind the RX 480 by 5 FPS. The last game here is Doom where RX 480 gets 3 more FPS than the GTX 970 and the 390X gets 8 more FPS than the RX 480 and the GTX 980 gets 12 more FPS than the 390X. Ok now let's talk about the numbers. Notice how the RX 480 scores 1100 points higher in Fire Strike than the GTX 970 but offers the exact same FPS in Rise of the Tomb. Then, they have a difference of 22 FPS in Hitman, then in GTA 5 it's ahead by 5, and it's also ahead by 3 FPS in Doom. Although there's an 1100 point difference between the two cards in Fire Strike, the real world performance isn't substantial except in Hitman, where AMD performs better because of DX12. I'll get back to DX12 in a bit. Both the GTX 980 and 390X outperform the RX 480 in each of the games except Hitman by more than a few FPS. The difference between the 390X and GTX 980 is there. What we can see is that these graphics cards performance relative to their Fire Strike scores do actually follow the same trend. The RX 480 outperforms the 970, 390X outperforms the RX 480, and the GTX 980 outperforms the 390X. So remember the leak back at the beginning of the video? The GTX 1060 allegedly performs better than the GTX 980 in Fire Strike by 160 points. As far as we know, Fire Strike scores are indicative 
of overall performance in games and so I think this leak may not be too far fetched as Nvidia is boasting GTX 980 performance at $250. So with all this information laid out, I'm going to say that the GTX 1060 will do pretty well against the RX 480 when placed up against each other. But then you say, well what about DirectX 12? The RX 480 smashed the GTX 970 and GTX 980 by 13 FPS and 22 FPS. What about other DX 12 games? In Total War Warhammer, the RX 480 pulls ahead of both the 970 and the 980 by 2 and 10 FPS and is behind the 390X by 2 FPS. Ashes of Singularity sees the RX 480 with the same FPS as the GTX 980 and also being 9 FPS ahead of the GTX 970. It's also 5 FPS behind the 390X. So correct me if I'm wrong, but the only DX12 game where the 980 actually came out better than the RX480 is in Tomb Raider, which is NVIDIA optimized, correct? Again, go into the comment section and correct me if I'm wrong, as I'm sure someone will. Anyways, what would this mean? In short, buy an RX480 over the GTX 980 or 970 if you plan on purchasing every game from here on out. The 980 and 970 fire strike scores just went out the window in DirectX 12. Now we're seeing Battlefield 1 supporting DirectX 12, CryEngine is now starting DX12 support, even Unreal Engine 4 and Unity have DX12 support. From here on out, I think the RX 480 will be showing up 900 series NVIDIA GPUs in the coming years. Do with this information as you will. But once we get DX12 benchmarks on the GTX 1060, we'll see just how well it does against the RX 480. Alright guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe and give me a like. But if you didn't like my style or something, please give me a dislike and comment down below on what you'd like to see improved. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.